Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a review on a mask that I have been using. This one is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful. It's a charcoal and black sugar polishing mask. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you do see that I put it on and I'll sometimes snap a photo and show you guys. But I use this mask either at night, sometimes in the morning, but mainly at night because that's whenever I have more time and I remember. But I do love to use it before I apply my makeup because it makes my face so smooth and it just makes it look brighter and pretty. So it lets me exfoliate my skin and then my makeup doesn't look uh, kind of dry on my nose areas where my makeup usually looks dry if I let it around my chin area and also on my forehead. Those are my problem areas which this mask helps me with. So if I'm going to do this in the morning, I'll take a shower, I'll do my hair and I'll change and my skin is still clean after taking a shower so I'll go ahead and apply this. So what I like to do is I'll just apply it all over my face. I do concentrate rubbing it into the areas where I have problem spots, which is around my chin, on my nose, and on my forehead because I kind of want it to concentrate on there and you can feel how warm it is. Not all the masks feel that way. This one does. You can feel the heat coming from the mask and I just really like it. You just let it sit for five to seven minutes. You can leave it on longer, I guess, but the directions do say five to seven minutes. And then once I I'm about to take it off what I'll do first is I'll apply a little bit of water I'll just put it all over my face to make it softer and so that it's not so dry and then I'll rub it in it does say you know to rub it in so I'm just telling you what I do I rub it in and again I concentrate on the areas where I have problem spots I don't know if you can tell right now because I just did that downstairs and it's been a little while but I do have redness right here and you can definitely see that in the demo. I'll rub it in on the areas where it's dry. That is where I concentrate the most. This mask is for all skin types and my nose does get oily but at the same time it does it is dry which is what I love about this because it's an exfoliating mask at the same time and it makes your face look clear and shiny it takes away the dullness off of your face and then I like to follow that with my Murad toning spray I just got this not too long ago but I put this one on in the morning so I use another product for the night because it feels a little thicker but this one is perfect and I like to apply it this one is the Murad hydrating toner and that's exactly what I'm wearing right now I did these two just downstairs right now and so this is what I apply this does spray like a little a little too hard so um, I do have to spray it a few times because it's too precise onto what area it's on so I have to apply maybe like four or five sprays but I do like this product so this is all I'm wearing right now then I'm gonna show you exactly what I do I apply my uh, lotion this one's the Clinique dramatically different so this is just like the routine that I would do before doing my makeup if I do the mask in the morning um, I didn't mention it earlier, but you only need to do this two to three times a week. It doesn't have to be every day or anything like that. I don't do it every day. I just do it more on the pampering days if it's at night, and I'll do it in the morning when I feel like my skin is dull. So I'll go ahead and apply this. I just grab one pump first, and I apply it on my problem areas, again, where I have redness. And then I'll get another pump and I'll apply it right here in the middle of my forehead and just put it on the rest of my face. So that is the way my face looks after I apply the lotion and it's so, so, so soft. It feels like my skin is absorbing the lotion so it makes it look hydrated, it makes it look nice and smooth ready for makeup which is something that I like. Now another thing that I love to do with the mask whenever I'm rinsing it off is scrub my lips with it a few times, maybe about three times because this works the exact same way as a lip sugar scrub and sometimes I'll just grab a little bit if I feel like my lips are dry and it'll take off the dead skin. So that's what I do whenever I'm rinsing it off. So before I do my makeup, I apply a lip balm. I'll apply any lip balm that I like. This one is not, this one is a Revo one. I got this at Walgreens and I'll just apply that. And that is it. It leaves my lips super moisturized and since I just did the lip scrubbing, it makes them nice and plump and it doesn't feel dry and it's ready for lipstick as well. So that is pretty much the routine that I do if I want to use this mask. And even if I don't, I'll still use the other products, but it just feels so much better once I do this first. So I really like this mask. I recommend it. I got this one at Walmart and it's about $3. It's two something. I'm pretty sure it's two something or three something, but I'm almost 98% sure it is 
is two dollars and something cents. This will last you for a long time and I think it's better than the little packages of masks that they have. So be on the lookout for this. I think it's a great product. You can find it at Walmart like I said and I've also seen it at Walgreens. So this one is great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked this type of video. It's a little different than what I usually do and let me know what other videos you would like to see. Maybe something that I haven't done or something besides a tutorial or a get ready with me or a review. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see here on Beauty News and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!